Marvel's comics wrapped up 2021 with the inclusion of Black Widow, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Eternals, and the latest Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, Sony Pictures is teaming with Marvel Studios to bring you the movie Morbius, based on an obscure comic anti-hero from the Marvel Comics universe in January of 2022. But will Morbius live up to the hype and do its classic comic series justice? So, who exactly is Morbius? Morbius is a tale of a mad scientist turned bloodthirsty vampire. Morbius, now a bat man of the evil kind, was once a biochemist named Michael who, with the use of bat blood, transforms himself into a vampire after trying to cure himself of a blood disorder. The ultimate conflict in this story is caused by the sacrifice that Morbius has to make when he's transformed, because after that point, he has to consume blood in order to survive. He has superpowers for sure, but he has to make this sacrifice in order just to stay alive let alone use these superhuman powers that he was able to receive by this vampire blood bat experiment. Morbius was first introduced as an antagonist to Spider-Man back in 1971. It was here that he first came on the scene in The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, a monster called Morbius. This is the definitive issue in which Spider-Man has an unexpected run-in with Morbius and is then nearly ambushed by Morbius and the Lizard. Although Morbius is a part of the Marvel Universe, universe, Morbius has not yet been shown in any of the current Spider-Man films, even though the mythos of Spider-Man contains the backdrop for his origin story. Now, after several Easter eggs have popped up in the latest trailer, fans are wondering if Spider-Man will probably make an appearance in the new Morbius, and if not Spider-Man himself, perhaps one of the other Marvel comic characters, like a second antagonist from the classic stories known as the Lizard. So what about the trailers providing clues for fans about about these potential appearances. Spider-Man and Morbius, how are the films connected? The latest trailer for Morbius shows several Easter eggs for the Spider-Man universe. As we know, the Spider-Man series was where Morbius was first introduced, and it's not a far cry to connect the two characters in the same film, either now or in the future. Easter eggs have been spotted by diehard fans include a shot of the Daily Bugle, which is the newspaper from the Spider-Man movie world, blaring the headlines, Dr. Michael Morbius apprehended for vampire murder. Pretty surreal if you're a diehard Spider-Man fan. Or perhaps of both Spider-Man and Morbius together. Also in the trailer is the unmistakable and ominous looking Oscorp building, a memorable keystone of the amazing Spider-Man films. Clues like these further strengthen the Spider-Man and Morbius multiverse as a whole. The trailer also connects Morbius to the Venoms universe as Morbius responds to the question, who are you? Not with I'm Batman, but with with I'm Venom. And what about that Michael Keaton cameo? All of this has got fans wondering. Stay tuned to find out what. What's well, got fans so excited about Morbius and the future of Marvel Comics? Since Michael Keaton appeared in the Morbius trailer, fans have been wondering, will Keaton do more than just a cameo? And does that mean he has a prominent role as the Vulture in Morbius? The Vulture is the founder of the Sinister Six, the iconic group of villains who all want to seek out their ultimate opponent, Spider-Man. So so what will this mean for Morbius in the next Marvel films? Morbius has never been definitely called out as one of the Sinister Six, yet he is an antagonist of Spider-Man in the comics, and Jared Lento seems to have revealed a bit of an Easter egg for this one on his own. This happened when Jared went to the Spider-Man No Way Home premiere wearing a flashy diamond necklace that presented the number six. So what does this mean? Will the Sinister Six band together for a future film? Only time will tell. Until then, keep your eyes on on those trailers for news and clues. What happens when Morbius transforms? The latest clip reveals all. Morbius's transformation into full-on vampire mode is an incredible feat of special effects that is sure to leave fans dazzled, ready, and eager for more. It includes both fast and slow motion action as the bloodthirsty and transformed Morbius narrowly avoids a bullet as he dodges his attacker's faces, completely unleashing his inner beast. The clip ends with Morbius returning to his human form forced to face himself in the aftermath of his inhuman actions. Films have come a long way. A movie like Morbius would not have been able to provide such futuristic realism had it come out in the 70s or 80s. Thanks to CGI and other high-tech special effects, Morbius seems right in time. In a time where so much is changing, a film about a man who can transform himself seems like the perfect time for such a tale, especially for a world that thrives on both science fiction and ultra-realistic 
artistic realism. But just how accurate is the new film when it comes to honoring the original Morbius? And will fans be satisfied with the outcome? Is the movie really staying true to the classic story we loved? The Marvel franchise has quite a following, and the fans are built to impress both young as well as old. From watching the trailers, it's clear that the movie is much different than the comic book fans read from the 90s. It seems a lot like what's happened to wrestling in the 90s. Gone are the fluorescent colors of yellow, green, and pink accent colors to the shadows that, in part, were pervasive in this amazing comic book. The arterial red blood that was sprayed all over the pages of those comic books seemed to be muted on screen. The use of shadows is so excessive that it's hard to make out the action. Might leave one wondering, do the directors remember that this movie was actually made for 90s kids? Kids who grew up in the heyday of comic books and love this Technicolor cartoon about a going mad, bloodthirsty vampire scientist. Morbius might be a bloodthirsty vampire, but he is truly an anti-hero that you can believe in. From what the trailers show in the new movie, the fun might have become overshadowed by the serious emphasis on the shadows. Perhaps the rest of the film will shed some light on the matter of who Morbius really is. Perhaps the film as a whole will provide some clarity about what Morbius, Marvel Comics, and the world of fantasy and science fiction are really all about. For diehard fans, will Morbius live up to the hype? Morbius follows a long line of films about the cinematic world of Marvel Comics. With the special effects of today, hopefully the film can do its character justice by bringing its universe to life. It might be a bit challenging to satisfy fans who have loved this story since day one, when Morbius was first introduced in the Spider-Man series as a living vampire who was tortured by his own existence. It's obvious that fans can get excited about this work even if they do take it into a new direction. The difference between the comic books and the movie that's about to come out is enough variety for pre-existing fans who have known the stories by heart. For new fans, it's approachable enough and less niche. Less specifically, this type of body horror beast vampire remaining true to that exact storyline. Perhaps if we don't get an appearance of Spider-Man in the actual film, it'll be enough for now to know that the Marvel Comics universe is honoring the original story and could potentially connect Morbius to future Spider-Man films, and vice versa. For a new generation, Morbius can bring a new outlook into the Marvel Universe as a whole, while both celebrating the classic comics and the future of science fiction and filmmaking. Hopefully, films like these can celebrate more obscure characters will introduce new readers in the Marvel comic universe. Possibilities for an expanded Marvel multiverse across multiple films seems limitless, as is shown by many films and trailers that are Morbius' prestigious predecessors. Diehard fans will hopefully be satisfied with the outcome. Morbius transforming the old into the new. The unique world of Morbius, which seemed so crazy and outlandish and cartoonish when we were children, is now on the horizon. What we have achieved in science was already a miracle, yet it's easy to wonder if people are going to start walking around with vampire wings and laser eyes and tentacles. God only knows what else people will want. In the end, it's easy to get excited about this new movie from the MCU invoking both old nostalgia and new ideas. Morbius, a lesson of magnitude. Morbius is ultimately a cautionary tale about fates worse than death and about playing God and cheating death. In this new century, with science becoming more and more capable of achieving such supernatural feats, we have to keep this in mind, treading carefully as we experiment. This is the lesson of Morbius. That's all for today. Thank you.